the questions that we have asked about what it means to be human, what it means to live in the world, to live well, what it means to interact with our world, our natural world, um, our social worlds. These are questions that have been asked for a very long time, and they've, they've changed uh, as society has changed, but in some ways they've also stayed the same in some really important ways. And science has been uh, an institution, especially a modern institution, that has become very, very powerful, very authoritative for us in terms of asking questions and giving answers and giving us guidance. But religion has also been a very important part of our history, the history of our civilization, of our cultures. And looking at the way in which those two narratives or those two authoritative sources have spoken to one another, sometimes against one another, sometimes in a, a fierce battle, uh, but sometimes very much agreeing, that understanding that long conversation over history is not only interesting for those of us who have any kind of historical interest, but it's also incredibly relevant for understanding the way in which we think about these things now. For example, if we are, if we think, if you think that science and religion are locked in a kind of uh, total battle against one another, that they just speak at one another and there's one side is yelling at the other and they just simply can't understand one another, well that's that's not true and that's almost never been true. Uh, usually they're actually, they've actually been uh, in some kind of conversation that, that involved, you know, finding common ground. Well, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people think that they are locked in a kind of battle. And so studying this helps us under, uh, unpack some of our kind of not so educated assumptions about those two ways of thinking about the world. Other people are really interested in a course like this because they might, for example, be totally anti-religion and they want to hear a story about how science has finally won the great battle of truth against falsity. Other folks are interested in, in, you know, because they've got a kind of personal religious uh, conviction and they want to figure out how to connect their scientific side with their religious side. Well, this is a course that basically looks at that long conversation and helps us think about the ways in which uh, science and religion have, have together thought about the questions that matter most to us.